cousin and today we're out on the boat tonight because it's Halloween and Che Bear is going to tell a spooky story so we're going to mostly listen and I'm going to keep you rolling he's live so once you're finished with my video the ones that haven't seen it can go to Shea Bear 1000 and watch his live video Yeah, monkey's recording and Bruno's helping me, kind of. <laughs> He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to give me a hard time here. Come on, Bruno. Lay down. Zoom back out. Come on, zoom back out. So we're on the lake. Sorry I had to cut you guys off like that, but I'm not playing YouTube games. This is my video, not theirs. Right, Monk? Yeah. And my fire went out. That's my nav light behind me. Hopefully that's better. why I ask about my mic is I'm using this wireless mic that I got sent to me. I need to find out if they got one for my camera. Yeah. Happy Halloween everyone. I'm sorry about that. It just, you know, I don't want to look like one of them people that don't know how to hold their phone. You know what I mean? This ain't TikTok. <laughs> this is Shade Bear 1000. Okay. The light. Well, I'm trying to give my camera a little bit. Sounds good. Sounds good. Widescreen now. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Happy <laughs> Halloween to you, man. <laughs> I thought we'd come out. We're on the boat. We're on the lake. Thought we'd come out and it always looks like we're really low in the water at night. Yeah. Thought we'd come out and we was going to do it. Was it last year or year before? We ended up doing it in the boat, but we was on the trailer in the front yard. Yeah, that was, was that last, last year. year. Was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. because it didn't have lights on the trailer or something. Yeah. Brian says, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. I'm here. You just can't see me. <laughs> so I, I thought I'd come out and do a... Uh, she is. <laughs> Thought I'd come out and do a uh, just a short story. Uh, something different, you know, for Halloween. Because I didn't do a story this week. Because I hurt my back last week and it followed into this week. And then it didn't help much when, you know, I was <laughs> putting those rafters <laughs> up in the, on the hut. Did it, Monk? No. So, we're not far offshore. We're about, what, about a mile? Yeah. We only came out about a mile. And, uh, as you know, it's, it's no wake after dark, so. Right. And I just had the, uh, the water guy, <laughs> Department of Wildlife. Mm-hmm. Management did an inspection on me, and didn't he? Yeah, while I was parking. <laughs> I didn't film any of that because this guy was really nice and really cool. He announced himself way before he got to me. I said, I know who you are. I seen your truck. <laughs> <laughs> he thought maybe he was going out fishing because he does some fishing too. He wanted to know how things were going. Mm -hmm. I said, Well, we're just. I said, We're not fishing tonight. I said, We usually do, but. I told him what we were doing. He said, well, that's cool. <laughs> and he asked about the life jacket. Because we have an extra one or two up in there, up in the front, just in case. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm talking to them, huh? Oh. <laughs> and uh, 
So, um, I said, well, that was, that's just an extra one. I said, ours is under here. And I lifted the thing and showed him. And he asked me how long the boat was. And I told him. So he gave me an inspection. And um, he said, well, so I showed him registration. And he said, all right. He said, well, I'll tell you what. He said, I'll run to my truck and get you a decal for your boat. He said, if you want it, you don't have to have one. I said, no, I want, because <laughs> I've been wanting to get a safety sticker for this thing for a long time. Yep. Pass with flying colors, man. Yep. Monkey took the truck across the street to park it, and uh, I was talking to him for a minute before she got there, and uh, um, like I say, he asked how long it was. I said, this is 14-foot John boat, and he was like, man, that thing is decked out. <laughs> You know, because it's just a John boat. It looks bigger on camera and stuff, but it's just a 14-foat John boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. I'll put my sticker on tomorrow. He said that way other wildlife officers, they'll see that sticker and they won't bug you like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess, you know, he was, he, he was cool, though, so... I had my camera, as soon as I seen him pull up and get out of his truck, I grabbed my camera, I set it right beside me. I thought, I'm going to have to turn this on, but I didn't, he was really cool. So, he didn't ask me for my ID, he just asked, he said, and you are, and I told him, he was like, good enough. <laughs> didn't, didn't check my ID or nothing, so. Yeah. Probably because I told him who I was as soon as he asked. I didn't. Um, Brad, Bill, Bob, you know. <laughs> right, you didn't give him a hard time. No, I just told him who I was. Ooh, lightning. Was there? Yeah. Oh. I saw some heat lightning. Mm. Yeah, so that's all we're doing. I hope this is not rubbing my beard too much. No, I don't think so. The mic. Yeah, I see. I like that mic. Oh yeah, yeah. I I've been wanting. I don't know if I mentioned one of my other videos or not. I, I wanted to. I've been wanting to go get to go get my sticker because you can just take your boat in and and they'll come out in the parking lot and inspect it for you. But I know them guys are busy and you know they're out doing their thing. So I didn't want to bother him. He was like, "Well, that wouldn't have been no bother." And I told him, I said, "Well, I figured eventually <laughs> we would run into one of you guys, but." The only other time we ran into one was when we was at that other lake. We was at another lake just right down the road from us. It actually connects to this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's in Hernando. And a um, uh, guy helped, helped me get the boat up to the dock because it's real rough there. Oh, yeah. yeah it was bad. It's real rough over there. <laughs> And it started to rain. And I, yeah, it was raining, and I had the top up, which made like a big sail. He's like, "Man, this top, you know, you put that down, you've been all right." And I said, "Yeah, but I got camera equipment over there." He said, "Oh shit, yeah, that'll do it." <laughs> <laughs> and he offered for her to go for he he offered monkey. He says, "I can go get the truck back it in for you." Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he was. He was. And really it cool. was pouring out. He was really cool. Yeah. yeah. I said, man, you don't have to, you know, get all that stuff. He said, no, it's part of my job. I want to give you a hand. Yeah, he got soaked, But too. he never asked us anything, you know, for IDs or nothing. He just no. offered a helping hand and yeah. got soaked doing it. I was like, nice man, guy. it's starting to rain. You can go to your truck if you want. He said, no, no, that's all right. It's my job. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. Yeah, they're all pretty cool down around here. Well, Citrus County, even the deputies are cool, except for that one that tried to steal my camera. Yeah. But the deputies in this county are really nice. Yeah. We saw a deputy one time in a at the gas station pumping gas for an elderly old lady. Remember that? Yeah. Yep. Sure did. I squared off with one out in the parking lot of the burger station, remember that? Mm-hmm. 
he was acting weird. Yeah, that was funny. We were acting like cowboys. He was like, draw. And he just did I it. I said, you draw. He said, you first. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know, I'm fast. <laughs> it was really cool, just out it, of the blue. Yeah, it was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah. I was like, what? You don't we expect have, them we to couldn't do have, that. We couldn't have planned that better, you know? No, no. no. Mm -mm. I'll give it a minute here, and then I'll get on with my ghost story. Because tonight's story is going to be called The Cabin That Cried Blood. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It's Halloween. <laughs> but uh man we are in some blue man we're being pushed there's low water where are we look behind you we're in the weeds oh no, <laughs> no. oh i didn't even know <laughs> i'll tell you guys that. oh my <laughs> we're in the lily pad man we are moving yeah we're being pushed huh yeah, that'll be fun to get out of here. Ooh. Yeah, we're really going to do it. <laughs> and that's the road over there. What is it, 41? Yeah. Is that 41? 44. Anyway, 44? Yeah. All right, we got two watching. Fair enough. Well, I guess I should have threw the anchor out, but I don't feel like it. That's not that thing. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, this <laughs> we're in the lily pads now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh wow. Ooh, this is getting spookier. Yeah, a little scary. Gators are probably underneath. Oh, us. let's not talk about that. <laughs> Bruno. Shine a light over this way. Let me turn the camera around. Oh my, we're really close, babe. You might have to move. No, we're not moving. It'll stop. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, All right, I'm going to tell my story. You still filming? Yeah. How's your battery life doing? It's fine. Alright. All right, so like I said, guys, these stories that I've told you, the first two and then this one, um, totally fabricated. None of this happened, as far as I know, because I'm making it up. Um, so, you know, don't say, oh, he's full of crap. That didn't happen. And then I'll know whether they watched the whole video or read the description. <laughs> Will you settle? But, uh, yeah, so... Bruno, sit down. Why is he so angry? I don't know. He's upset. He's not upset. He's smiling. I have no idea. Well, just let go of him. I did. All right. He'll be all right. So anyway, yeah, they're just stories I made up just for Halloween time. They're not. They're not true stories. But so anyway, I don't know if it'd be better if I. Yeah. Well, let's just do this. There we go. Now I got light. All right, hopefully it's not too windy. I've never had this mic out in the wind, so anyway. All right, didn't bring my bug spray, but the wind did pick up, which is a good thing in a way, because it should help keep the mosquitoes away, but it might be bad, but it's coming from my back, so hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. All right, so on with the story. I'll first get a cigarette. Mike sounds good, real strong. Awesome, thanks, Brian. I'm glad. Uh, I'm surprised I, I got service out here. I actually have 4K out here. Yeah. Which is unusual for me, because if we're we're about two and a half miles as the crow flies to the near cell phone tower. At the house, we're only a mile from cell, cell phone tower as the crow flies. And if I start walking down the street, I start losing service. So I'm surprised I got it out here. So, all right, guys. So, the cabin that cried blood. There was this couple. 
and they wanted to do something special for their anniversary. Their names were Brian and Marla. And <laughs> just kidding. I'm like I said, I'm making a story up. I don't know. Um, I guess their names doesn't really matter because they're not real people. But anyway, so they found some cabins for rent. They wanted to spend a weekend in a cabin. wasn't far from their house, you know. They were, you know, it was a couple hour drive, so it wasn't far. So they call and they reserved their cabin. This place had a lot of cabins. And they were dispersed out over many, many acres, over a couple mile road out in the middle, you know, up in these hills and these woods. And so uh, they, uh, so they got their cabin, and like I said, they had like 18 cabins for rent. And uh, so they rented cabin three. So they're going up this this road, and it's starting to get dark already on them. But they get to their cabin. They get to cabin three, and it's beautiful. Nice, nice big cabin, you know. It's two bedroom, bathroom. But it was a, it was a cabin, but it was one of those really nice ones. Like a chandelier that lit up real pretty in the living room, you know, made out of uh, animal antlers, you know. Almost said antelopes, but antlers. And uh, so it was real, real pretty when they turned it on. And had nice lighting around the front porch and the back porch was lit up nice, you know, if they wanted to sit out there, fire pit. The whole nine yards, you know, had a jacuzzi and, and they just couldn't wait to start enjoying it. So... They get in, they get their bags unpacked, you know, and, and everything seems to be going fine. And, and uh, you know, just they started hearing some strange things that they weren't used to. They started hearing some thumps and bangs and, you know, maybe some voices here and there. And they, they thought, well, you know, we're, we're from the city, you know, we don't know, we, we don't go out in the woods much. So maybe it's an animal outside or what, so. You know, so they break out a deck of cards and they're playing cards and drinking some wine, you know. No big deal, having fun. They got some music playing and um and then all once they heard this bang. Like a big thump on the side of the wall, but they couldn't tell which wall. They just heard this big thump and it startled them. So they put the cards down, shut the music off, and they just started listening. And they was they was hearing this stuff. Chupacabra. <laughs> Somebody said chupacabra. Uh-uh. So, <laughs> happy Halloween. So, uh, anyway, so they heard this bang. And, you know, they're kind of scared. Like I said, they're, they're city folks. This guy, he, he don't have a weapon. He, you know, he don't carry a gun. He's from the city. He's kind of tough, you know. I mean, grew up tough. And, you know, like me, I, I don't carry a weapon. I don't carry a gun. But they did have some knives, you know, and, uh, you know, in the kitchen. So they each grabbed a knife, and they're just sitting there, and all at once, bam, it sounded like a door slammed upstairs in one of the bedrooms upstairs. So he tells his wife, he says, look, stay here. I'm going to go upstairs and check this out. He goes upstairs and um, goes to check it out. Rockwell said, "Happy Halloween to both of us." Ah, uh, happy Halloween. So, you know, he's up there. He's checking that both doors were open. Okay, so, you know, nothing got slammed. The windows were shut because you know they had the air on. And um, we should have went farther out in the lake. Yeah, I'm not but, happy. <laughs> well, I didn't want to get too late. So, you know, so. It wasn't like a draft had blown one of the doors closed or anything like that. So he's checking around, he sees nothing, and then he hears his wife hollering for him. She's, she's like, I can get down here right now. And he comes running down the stairs, and he's like, what's wrong? What's, did you see something, somebody here? She's like, no, look over there, and she points over on the wall, and there's this, this liquid oozing down the wall. He was like, hmm, that's peculiar. So... <laughs> course being a guy he's got to go see what this stuff is right he goes and looks at it he's looking at it real close what is that what could that be i don't know it's like a brownish color and then she said 
oh my god, it's over here too. And over on the other wall, there were several streams of this liquid coming down, but it was getting lighter this time, more bright. It turns out it was red. So he touches it, and he looks at his fingers, and he's like, well, this ain't paint. So he, he surmises, this has got to be blood. So all of a sudden, the fire keeps going out. It's too windy. So all of a sudden, the bangs started getting louder and harder and, and, and more of them just bam, 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 bam. And it was like, sound like just somebody slamming a door and, and you know, just like the house, the cabin was like vibrating, right? They said, the hell with this? We're getting out here. We're calling the owner. We're getting our money back. They left their stuff. They said, you know, we'll, we'll get our stuff the next day, tomorrow or something. We're, we're out of here right now. So they ran out, got in their car, and they called They called the owner. And the owner, you know, said, well, look, I, I don't know what's going on there. I've, I've never had a problem. He says, we've got 18 cabins. I've never had a problem like this before. I'm on my way. He says, what cabin did you rent again? And she said, well, we rented cabin three. He said, okay. So... He shows up, about, you know, 25 minutes later, he shows up, and they're sitting there, and they get out of the car, and the owner gets out of his truck, and he comes up, and he says, so, what are you guys doing here? And they said, what do you mean, what are we doing here? We rented cabin three, this is cabin three. He says, no, this is cabin 13. He said, look, and when they turned around and looked at this cabin, it was all of a sudden just old, dilapidated, like it had been sitting there 20 years with windows busted and, and, and doors hanging off the hinges and sure enough there was a number three on on the cabin only it was cabin 13 but the one had fallen off over the years he said no he says um he says i i gotta tell you we haven't rented this cabin in, in like 20 years because he said we we did have there was a murder you know somebody somebody got tore up in, inside that cabin and he said we just closed it off and it's never been used since, and, and they're they're dumbfounded. They look at each other and they're like, "What? What is going on here? What? We were just in there. This this cabin was beautiful." He said, "It was a beautiful cabin when we used to rent it up until the tragedy happened." And she said, "No, no, no, no. We were in this cabin." He says, "It's impossible." And she, he said, "No, sir. She's telling you the truth. We were in this cabin. Our things are in there." So. They go in, and and uh, just the men, she stayed outside, and the men go in to get his things. Happy Halloween, Dennis. And so he, you know, and they're, they're getting their stuff, and, and this guy couldn't believe it. He, everything was just covered in an inch of dust, and it was just, you know, all tore up inside, and that beautiful chandelier was barely hanging on, and it was all broken up, and... and uh, the only thing that wasn't dirty was their things. Their things had no dust. So they grabbed their things and then went out. And he's putting their things in the car. And she's like, sir, I don't you know, I don't know what's going on here, but we have not moved out of this spot since we called you. We were in there. We were settled in. We were playing cards because the cards were still on the table. The wine was still there. And he said, that, that may be so, ma'am, but... You know, this cabin, I'm telling you, was not... It was beautiful at one time, but you can see what it looks like now. She said, it was beautiful. It was immaculate. Everything worked. And she said, when I turned on the chandelier, she said, I was just in awe. It was so beautiful. He said, ma'am, I'm going to tell you one more time. That's impossible. That chandelier cannot work. And she said, I'm telling you, sir, I turned that chandelier on, and it was beautiful. And he said, ma'am, take a look at this. And he shined his light his flashlight up at the power pole and there were no wires running to that cabin anymore. And that's the story of the cabin that cried blood. <laughs> what do you think, Monk? Very good. Monkey liked that story. Man, the fire keeps going out. Must be having something going on over there. Yeah. But, yeah, so, that's not a departure. The park's over there. 
But, yeah, so anyway, guys, just wanted to come out here with you guys real quick. And, uh, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, I get the story. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he said uh, happy Halloween from their house to ours. Aww, happy but, Halloween. As you can see, Dennis, we're at the house. We're we're on the boat. We're on the lake. So, um, yeah, I got inspected sitting there at the dock waiting on her to go park the truck and trailer. Yeah. So, but I got my inspection sticker. Everything's good. So. It's actually legal now. I can legally take somebody out fishing and charge them money for it if I want. Yeah? Yep. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Deb Hawthorne said, scary. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, like I said, I just made it up as I went along. Um, usually when I have stories like this, you know, they're somewhat true or third party true. You know what I mean? True to, my be to the best of my ability. But uh, these ones, you know, totally made up. Like that last one, I, I totally made it up. The Muddy Footprints one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was totally made up. And the first one, the ghost. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The ghost guy, he, he ended up being a ghost. That was made up too. So, anyway, hope you all are having a safe and happy Halloween. I'm going to have a fun time getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. Monkey, hmm. shine the light over here. These are all lily pads we drifted into. We came from over there. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> we drifted yeah. all the way. Well, we drifted through, right through here. <laughs> and over here. This is a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Lily pads are right. It's it's that grassy stuff that gets caught up in the crop. The lily pads, we don't, you know, it doesn't catch up with proper. You know, so. uh, no. All right, guys. Anyway, <laughs> huh? anything you want to say? No. Yeah, turn me, turn Just happy around. Halloween, everyone. Hope you're having fun, enjoying your night. Yeah, Monkey was filming. She wanted to film the story, <laughs> so check her channel out. The story will be on there, but from a different angle. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because she's never done a scary story. No. Because she's more like crafts and adventures and stuff, so. Yeah. But she wanted to do something different. It's Halloween. I said, you going to film it? She said, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. Over here. <laughs> Rockwell. Mm. 19701 said, gave him goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Bruno wanted to come, so. Oh, yeah. Mark's Adventures said, happy Halloween. Ha happy Halloween, Mark. Hey, Mark. And Deb Hawthorne, Dennis, Brian. I appreciate y'all. And yep. like I said, hope y'all are staying safe. And I will have a, I will be having a, uh, what is it, November 25th? One more story. One more story? Uh, all right, I guess I can do one more story. Let me, am I zoomed in or? All right, I'll, I'll, all right, I'll make up a quick one here on the spot. <laughs> okay, so, all right, there we go. See, that's the light from my nav light on me, so. All right, I'll give you one more quick one, and then we'll, we'll go, because i got to get out of here. There's the moon there. I know it doesn't show up on here, but it's a crescent moon. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, one more story. Let's see. Oh, first, so, yeah, November 25th, I'll be doing a, a camp out, a solo camp out for my Thanksgiving one. Mm -hmm. um, I won't be doing that live because I can't, I can't go live where I'm going to be at because I'm going to be out in the forest. And then sometime in November, or I mean in December, about midway through December, I'll, uh, I'll do my, my annual solo. Um. It's on this lake, but it's going to be on a little island, so that should be fun. Yeah. All right, one more quick story. So, there was this guy. Bought him a new tent. He's, he wants to do a YouTube review on it. So, 
He's never YouTubed or anything. Never went camping before, but he wants to go all out. So he buys a new tent. And he's like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna start. If I like it, I'm, I'll, I'll start camping, and make camping videos. But he said I'll start with the the review of this this tent and this camping equipment I got. So he gets out to his campsite. He's he's out in Wyoming somewhere, way out in the middle of the, you know, he's out there, you know, and uh, you know he's never been spooked before, but he's never been camping, but. You know, he's been by himself and stuff. So he goes out, he sets up his tent, and he's doing his filming and everything, and and he's talking to the camera and you know, telling the people the Learjet. It just landed over at the uh we're not far from the airport. No. We're about a mile and a half as the crow flies. Two no, two two to two and a half miles as the crow flies. But so anyway, um, where was I? So he, you know, he's talking about the prices of where he got everything. And he hears something. What the hell was that? You know, he's looking around. Probably just an animal because it's starting to get late. You know, he's got his lights on. And it's probably, you know, 10, 10, 30 at night. So he keeps on talking. And he's like, well, you know, I got this Ozark Trail 10. I got it cheap. Got it, at, you know. Wally World and blah 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 and he this time much closer and much louder so he's looking around again he's not armed he didn't bring anything he's like oh my what is that he's who's there who's there didn't hear anything for a minute and then all at once he heard another step and he said I said who's there he lied he says I am armed and as soon as he said that he heard a voice and seemed like a shadow figure the shadow figure says, I didn't mean to scare you. He said, I, I camped here years ago, and I think I left some of my stuff. And, you know, this man's a little upset right now because he got scared. And, he's, you know, a guy walking up on somebody in the middle of the night, he, he says, well, he says, I, I don't care. You know, that was years ago. It's probably gone. I didn't take any of your stuff. This is all my stuff. And before he realized it, the shadow was gone. He didn't hear anything else the rest of the night. So the next day, he can't. He's trying to figure out what was that noise? What was it? He's like, wait a minute. I have it on camera. Sure enough, he checks his camera. And all his, you know, all his footage is on, is on his camera. And he starts going through the footage. And everything's working except for the part where the, where the man, the figure, showed up and was talking to him. That was a corrupted file. Would not work. He went home. Couldn't get it to work on any of his computers, his laptops, or anything. It was a corrupted file. Through that whole weekend, that was the only file that was corrupted. So he, it, it just bothered him for a couple weeks, you know. He, he, he just kind of lingered on it. So he started Googling about the, the area where he camped in. Turns out that area was not open for camping anymore. Apparently, the sign had rotted and fell down, and it wasn't open because someone was brutally murdered there when they were camping. And when the authorities found him, all his stuff was there and he was mutilated. So the only thing he could figure was that was that man's spirit coming back to get the camping equipment that he had left behind. <laughs> so there you go. There's another quick story. So you got two for you got two for one tonight. <laughs> there you go. That makes up for the one you didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully <coughs> excuse me hopefully you guys enjoyed story time and uh if you want more stories like this i, I can throw you know i can do one once a month or something yeah. and do a scary story i'll put it in a playlist and we'll just be scary story time yeah because usually I, only, I always have a story time when when we're camping i always tell a story but it's not always scary but if you guys like the spooky stuff i don't know how scary these were but if you like these spooky stories i could you know, do one a month or whatever. We'll go out and we'll hike back maybe to that cabin one night. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, uh, so let me know. And mm -hmm. and if you're watching this after the fact, leave it down in the comments. If that's what you want me to do. And, I, and I'll, I'll be glad to oblige you on that. So, anyway, go. guys, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Um, you guys are great. You know, there would be no Shea Bear 1000 without you guys, you know. Um, so it, it helps a lot. 
And uh, Monkey, same way, check her channel out. She's growing a little bit now, huh? Yep. So uh, she's getting, I'm getting her hooked up with better equipment. So we're going to head back to the truck. Well, back to the ramp. She's got to go get the truck, and then we've got to try to get this thing loaded. <laughs> mm hmm uh, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Stay spooky, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye. <laughs>